In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the freezing point of a solution. Question one reads, in the northern United States, during freezing temperatures, calcium chloride is spread on icy highways to melt the ice. Calculate the freezing point of a solution containing 0.50 mole of calcium chloride in one kilogram of water. The first thing that I want to do is show you the dissociation equation for calcium chloride. And here's what I mean. Calcium chloride dissociates into calcium ions, and two chlorine ions, chloride. And what I want to do is sum up the number of moles in the products, which is three. So there are three moles of solute particles, being this stuff, for every one mole of calcium chloride. This number will be placed right into where you see I. For M, that represents the molality. And we're told that there are 0 0.50, 0 0.50 moles of calcium chloride per one kilogram of water. So I'll be placing 0 0.50 into there. And also, K represents the freezing point depression constant, which happens to be 1.86 degrees Celsius per m, molo. Okay, that's molil. And we'll be placing that number right there. So if we do this correctly, your equation should look like this. You should have the change in temperature is equal to 3 moles of solute particles per 1 mole of calcium chloride, multiply to 0 0.50 moles of calcium chloride, I'm on M right now, per every one kilogram of water. And notice that this unit and this unit will cancel out immediately. Multiply to 1.86 degrees per one molal. And remember molal is moles of solute over moles of solvent. So the units of molal will cancel out with this and that. Leaving us only with degrees Celsius. Using our calculator we can type in 3 times 0 0.50 times 1.86 and we get a change in temperature of 2.79 degrees Celsius. Now remember, water freezes at zero degrees. So what this is telling us is that ice will end up melting rather than at zero degrees, but at 2.79 from that. So I'll subtract 2.79 from there, and we end up with the temperature of the solution of negative 2.79 degrees Celsius. And this is why salt is added to ice, so that the melting point of ice decreases and it makes it easier to melt. So just to recap, we have T solution over the freezing point of water minus the change in temperature that we found here. Also keep in mind that negative 2.79 should be rounded to two significant figures, so make sure that you write down negative 2.8 as your final answer. That's the answer to question number one. Let's move on to question two. Ethylene glycol, C2H6O2, a non-electrolyte, is added to the water in a radiator to give a solution containing 0.75 moles of ethylene glycol in one kilogram of water solvent. What is the boiling point of the solution? Now to do this problem, we use the same technique as before, except this time ethylene glycol is a non-electrolyte, so it doesn't break down. Therefore, the I value that we used, unlike in before's question, is going to be 1. Now with that being said, we'll say that the change in temperature is equal to I times the molal times, what was that last one? The constant. The constant here this time, since it's boiling as opposed to freezing, is 0 0.512. So I'll replace K with 0 0.512 degrees Celsius per molal. 
And once again, we're dealing with 0 0.75 moles per one kilogram, just as before. Moles of solute per one kg of water. Essentially, these two together is the letter M for molo, and that will cancel out with that. And that's being multiplied to 1. So let's use our calculator. 0 0.75 times 0 0.512 is equal to 0 0.384. And we want this to two significant figures. So just keep that in mind. And remember the boiling point of water is 100. This raises the boiling point of water. So we'll take 100 degrees Celsius plus 0 0.384 and that gives us 100.38 degrees Celsius. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the freezing point and the boiling point of a solution.